How is it to sail around among icebergs? August is a good time to sail here. The weather is stable and there is less ice than earlier in the season. The amount of ice is less in reality than on films and pictures. That applies to this episode as well, just because ice is cool. Most of the ice comes from the pack ice in the north. Here in the southwest of Greenland, the ice comes from the east side and has drifted around the south tip of Greenland and followed the current going north. The ice bears live up in the north and on the east side of Greenland, but every year they are seen on the southwest as well. They have then drifted on an iceberg around the south tip and ended up in the west. So they just have to walk back home during the summer. This is a super strong emotional feeling. We've been walking maybe five kilometers from Kvartok and came to this small bay where small icebergs had stranded from yesterday's strong winds. Uh, so these weren't here yesterday, we think, because we passed this uh, uh, cove yesterday. It's just, it's just amazing. It's, yeah, really cool. The Norwegian boat Vilja is leaving with their traditional blow in the conch. We prepared the boat for leaving as well. The plan was going into the fjords where the mountain rise up to 2,000 meters above the sea level. Ja, men det rann över. Hilma had downloaded tracks from boats that had sailed these waters earlier, so we were not only going by luck. So now we're going through this passage, uh, it's uncharted area, so we're quite nervous. It's 8. meters, 8.2 meters deep here. Uh, we tried over there, but that was too shallow. Luckily we have uh, Hilma as guinea pigs. Uh, they have the same depth as we do, so this is good. We owe them big time.
Sailing in the dark or in fog is scary. The big iceberg can be spotted on the radar, but the small ones called growlers can't be seen on the screen. To go very slow is the only way to handle it as we see it. The best is of course to avoid sailing in the dark or fog. We got ice report from dmi.dk for Greenland and from NOAA for the passage between Canada and Greenland. They are all based on reports from boats and airplanes. In some areas they use satellite images as well. Some question their reliability. The best reports are from the oil and gas industry. They have their own planes monitoring the ice nearby their platform, but they are hard to get. Herregud, vad stort det är så här. Jämför med den lilla båten där. Jo. Unna talk. We are here to uh, go to the hot springs. And uh, yesterday we came through all the ice over there. Uh, it was a lot of fog, so uh, we didn't see them all. So that made it easier. Uh, so uh, it'll be exciting to see those hot springs. This is the boat dog Bertil. He also gets restless when he spends too much time on the boat.
Follow us next week when we continue exploring Greenland and try out the local cuisine. Don't forget to like and subscribe.